Greetings from beautiful India where I am currently working and I am currently at this very moment sitting in their guest room preparing this video. I am here corporally and Sophie is here ethereally and we want to prepare a nice little video for you here showing you how to manage your executive desktop. This doesn't actually produce any report. It just helps you with the working environment. There's four little functionalities that I'd like to show you, uh, or four little things you can do. I am not so sure how helpful they are. For example, one of the things when we look at the desktop is that we have a lot of real estate taken up by this header and the footer space. Header and the footer. I have never really been much of a fan for using headers and footers. It's very possible. I don't know how to use them properly, but none of my uh, standard production reports ever use a header or footer. So I like to get rid of them. Unfortunately, I do not know of a way to uh, make this happen by default, or I would set it as a default. But if I I click on uh, view and then the header and footer I can come over and I click those two buttons like that and they no longer show taking up that precious space also um, I can if I'm working with a wide sheet I move can move the uh, tree to the side sharing some of the space with the prompts. We can even get more elaborate than that in that we could take the prompts and move them to the side. Let's see if I can get it. You can see the wrestling match I'm having here. Okay. What, the, what it amounts to is that you can put the prompts and the tree on top of the worksheet like that if it's helpful. Makes it a little bit easier if you have a tall narrow worksheet you can move it over on the side and if you have a wide uh, short one you can move them down to the bottom. So I think that you'll find that is extremely useful. Those three little deals of moving the, the windows and uh, getting rid of the the uh, header and the footer. You can, if you want to rearrange your uh, menus across here, they're all movable grabbing the little bar. Okay, let's see if I can find a little bar here that we can grab. There's one. We can We can grab it and move it where we want trying to free up a little bit of space uh, and you can get the idea. I'm not going to do too much here and let you play with what you want. You can move it above and bottom. All that sort of stuff just confuses me but it does give you a little bit more workspace if you need them. This includes even moving the menu items out. And so uh, live it up and have a good time uh, trying to figure out getting things exactly like you would like to use them. Stay tuned for our next video on conditional formatting. I think that you will find it makes your reports look really sharp and shows a certain level of professionalism. So thank you for your time.